Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday night, January 23rd. And we are so excited that you guys are here. We're so excited about the buzz that's happening in um, some of our teams. Now, I'm not going to say all of them, but I see the ones that are working and I see the ones that are getting signups. That's all I'm going to say. But um, I had a conversation today with a um, with a lady from another team and she was um, she was very frustrated because she's like, you know, I have been doing this for seven months. And she said, and there is no reason why I'm not a director already. She says, you know, I am, I am working this every day. And she said, and you know, I, I, I see other people ranking and I see, you know, this, and she had, you know, she was going through all the things and, you know, the things that she was saying, I was like, you know, it seemed like, you know, at seven months, if you're doing all these things. And then I asked her this question. I said, how long every day are you working on your business? And her answer was 30 to 45 minutes every single day. And I said, so before you retired, what did you do? And I told her, I said, a director is $5,000 a month. So I said, before you retired, what did, what was your salary? And she said, she made $75,000 a year. Her bring home pay was right at a director level, right at $52,000, $5,300 a month. <coughs> and um, I said, so how many hours a day did you work to bring home, you know, $6,000, $6,000 a month? How many? And she said, I worked eight, sometimes 10 hours a day. So, and I said, my response was, okay. So they paid you that amount you're wanting the same amount with this but all you're giving it is 30 to 45 minutes a day does that even seem logical to you and when you put it like that it doesn't I said if you're at a manager level and you're working 30 to 45 minutes a day on your business you are getting paid for exactly what you're putting in so you know it's it, you build it, but if you're still doing the same things now as you did when you started and you're set the same level now as you were when you started, something's got to change. You're going to have to switch something up. And she was doing the same things. She was doing IPA. She was doing Focus 40 every single day, but she wasn't getting any different results because she wasn't doing more or something different that wasn't getting her the results that she wanted. So we talked about some things that she could do. And um, by the time she got off the phone call, she understood and she decided she was going to change some things up. So that's what I would encourage you guys. If you want to make director level money, which is the first level that you really make some serious I'm five grand a month. Is, that's pretty good money. That's a full-time job. You know, that's a full-time take home pay job. So if that's the level you want to get to, then you're going to have to do more than put in manager work, than, than the time. Then you're going to have to put in more than 30, 45 minutes a day. Even if you do it consistently, you're going to have to put in more than that. Even when I was working 60 hours a week, by the time I got to director, I was working this business. You know, I was working this business a lot more than just a, a few minutes here and a few minutes there. I was being intentional with my time. I was working a schedule. I was working, I was fitting it in when I could, but hours a day when I got to that point and all day, Saturday, all day, Sunday. I mean, it wasn't just a little bit here and there just to get me by and just to check the boxes. So I, that, that phone call just really was eye opening to me today. And I was just like, you know, I wonder how many other people think, well, I'm doing the things, but my business isn't changing. So I, it, when you really dig down and see you know, what, what are you putting in and, and what are you getting? Somebody needs to mute. I got muted somebody, sorry. Let me see. If I can, oh, there's a bunch of people not muted. Let me, I'm going to mute everybody. Maybe you're just going to have to unmute. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so that was very eye opening because she was so upset. Like she was like so frustrated. And then when we laid it out, we figured out why she wasn't at a director level after seven months. Because she's still putting in the few minutes here and few minutes there, totaling about forty-five minutes a day. So, um, take a check, take a take a look at what at what your business looks like. Take a look at how much you're putting in. Are you just checking the boxes? Um, 
or are you really doing the things and doing them again and again and again? So um, I'm not going to take any more time, but I just wanted to share that because that was very, very interesting. And I want to um, make sure that you guys know that we still have the, um, the enrollment extravaganza and congratulations to Vicki because she has already earned her first $50 and it looks like she's got a new distributor that's headed towards $50 too. Uh, I have almost got my second $50. I'm really excited. So um, how many of you are going to take home some money? Do not leave money on the table. I'm just telling you, don't leave the money on the table. So Bambi, Mel, she is our newest gold a manager on the X team. She is doing the things. She set up calls with me this week. She, I see her working. I see her doing the things and she needs to step up into a leadership position and establish herself as a leader. And she has earned the right to train on this, uh, on this group tonight. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited um, for What's coming for her? I see you, girl. I see you doing the things. I see you posting on the leaders page. I see you posting on the family page. I see you coaching your people. I see you setting up calls. So I want you to just share what's on your heart tonight. I did not give her a topic, even though she asked me. I told her to share what's on her heart. And um, so I'm just going to turn it over to you. Okay. So y'all don't mind me being nervous. Uh, when Melissa texted me last week about doing this, I immediately was like, okay, I'm going to go throw up now. And uh, I texted her and told her, I said, okay, you officially put me in panic mode because this is not my thing. I do not talk well in front of people. So y'all just got to be patient with me. Um, but I do for real love the fact that she believes in me and she's definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. So I thought about it and I asked her, you know, I was like, what do I have to offer that everybody hasn't already heard? Like, because I know, I, I feel like I've heard everything that y'all have heard and, and vice versa. So she was like, but you never know what somebody may hear and take differently coming from you. So I went back to some old trainings and I went back to Zingfest 21 and I looked out some things just went over all my old notes and some things that stood out for me ended up being five C's. That's, that's the, I, I broke it down into five different C's. Um, the first one being the company, of course, because this company is the reason that we are all here. It's the, it, you know, it's, it truly is the best business. It is brought so much to me and I know it's doing that for y'all as well. So um, we have a strong company with the best products and the best tools to help us grow our own business. Um, because of this company, you have a supportive community. Um, use your back office, use your reports to, you know, help you find those consistent customers to help you with your subscriptions. You know, who's buying without using subscription, all of those things is all there. The company has given us the tools, um, but we also have our community. So ask, ask for help, ask the question out, you know, reach out to your upline, your sideline, your sister line, your all the lines, reach out to them. They, you know, to do inspire calls or answer questions that you may not be able to answer. Um, your regional sales managers are great for that kind of stuff too. I know Jen um, set up a couple of inspire calls with Locke. Um, so they're there, they're there to help as well. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be an upline person. You can also use your regional sales salespeople. So um, my next C is courage. And that's a big one. Um, it's a big one that was talked about a lot at ZingFest 21. Um, it's a big one for me, of course, right now in this moment. <laughs> um, Courage is the first virtue because it makes all the others possible. Um, it doesn't mean you're never afraid. It means you don't let fear stop you. Laurie Burcham said that at Zingfest 21. Um, and that is so true because I have had so much fear with doing this um, training tonight, but I couldn't let it stop me. I'm here and I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to pull all the courage I can out. So you just have to, you have to 
reach out to people, even when you are scared to do that video chat or scared to talk to that person in public, um, find that courage. Um, Stacy Loftus said at the same Zingfest 21, he said, real courage is moving forward when the outcome is uncertain. So no matter what, if we want this business for our families, you know what your why is, you know why you want it. So no matter what, whether you're uncertain, you know, we don't know what the outcome is going to be for each of us, how, how far we're going to get, what our rank will be, but no matter what, we have to keep moving forward and we have to find the courage to do it. Courage is nothing without action. So post those before pictures and those after pictures. Some people are scared to post those before pictures. It took me a while to post those before pictures, but I did because I know me posting those pictures can help somebody else. So now I don't think twice about it. Um, do the video chats, talk to strangers in public and do your trainings, do a training. That was one for me. I stepped out tonight. A little push from Melissa helped, but do a training. I promise all those things are going to help build your confidence, which is two of my next um, C's. Actually, I want to, I do want to um, read uh, Deuteronomy 31, 6 is be strong and courageous for the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So just remember, if nobody else is there. God's always got you. Um, but the next two C's kind of went together, which was confidence and change. So be confident in your abilities and your qualities. Change your language. Um, you know, change the way you talk. Be more positive. If you, you know, just try to think positive in all ways and, you know, try to, I guess you're, I hope you are getting <laughs> I hope you are getting what I'm throwing at you. Um, just be positive and, and try not to let the negative creep in. Um, build your self-belief by using those um, positive daily affirmations. Those are important. If you build your self-belief, that helps your confidence. And then watch your posture. Stand tall. Sit up tall. You know, um, the more you change those things for yourself, your language, your, your um, posture, your self-belief, your confidence is going to grow astronomically. I mean, so tell your story over and over again, and the more uh, you will become more confident in inspiring others to begin their journey. The more, the more you tell your story, the more confident you will become in telling your story and helping others. Um, you were born with the ability to change someone's life, so don't waste it. Laurie Braddon said that um, at Zinefest in 21. So, I, I mean, a lot of that stuff just really spoke to me with the things that people were saying. And because it's all stuff I have to take in myself. I mean, I'm telling all this, but this all stuff that I need for myself as well uh, to build my confidence and to change some of the things about me, you know, so, and uh, I definitely believe we were born with the ability to change somebody's life. So, and this was put before us so we can do that. Um, and then the last and final C is Christ, because to me, that's the most important C. Um, we were all brought this opportunity, not by accident, but by him. I fully believe that. He brought this for me for my health and the business opportunity and for the friendships because I have gained some amazing friendships through this. And um, there's a lot of you that are on the Zoom that I have, I know for a fact that I will always stay friends with. But I, I'm thankful for this business for so many reasons. My why is very important to me and it's my family. And uh, me and Melissa talked in great detail about that a few weeks ago. And I know that, that the good Lord brought this to me for that reason. He brought it to me to help us. And, and so I know that he brought this to y'all for the same reason. Or you may have some different reasons, but I, I know he did. He brought it to you for a reason. So, um, and it's not only to change our lives, but to change other people's lives too. So, you know, just remember to always take your struggles to him. You know, we're going to have valleys. 
but no matter what, we've got to thank him and praise him in our valleys. So um, Hebrews 11, 1, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So just, there was something else I know I was going to say about confidence. Um, yeah, there it is. Sorry, y'all. I apologize. I knew I skipped something. Um, no matter what, don't lose your confidence when it's not working out right away, because I know there are times that I let myself get down or I let myself like it just when things are in the valleys, when I'm not doing that great, you know, and I let my confidence, you know, go down on just like that, that week that I hit gold or that day that I hit gold, you know, don't let things get in your head and talk you down. You know, you got to just continue to work and keep going and keep trying um, and, and you'll persevere. So anyway, I know it wasn't a long zoom, but that's what I have. And I hope that somebody got something out of it, you know, and I hope that y'all understood what I was saying, even though I was nervous, right? <laughs> Girl, I think it was fantastic. And I'm, I'm videotaping this. Uh, I'm videotaping this on the, on the leaders page. I was trying to go live on the other zoom, but um, no, what you shared is something I think all of us need to hear. It was absolutely phenomenal. And I think everybody probably heard exactly what they were supposed to hear out of this. So I, the comments are just rolling in and everybody's saying great job because you did. And you know what? It, it all starts with your first one. So now everyone from here on out will get easier. Then you didn't even seem nervous to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Anybody, anybody want to unmute and give some encouragement? I will. Baby, that was awesome. And I was five years into it. I still hate doing it, but you got to do it. And I still get nervous and I'm going to cry talking about it every time. So it just is what it is. And you did fantastic. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to be on my, you don't have to be directly on my team to say something. So unmute. I love the way you brought scripture into it and reminded us, um, you know, and even at the end that Christ has brought us all to it. He is going to provide what we need when we need it. And we just need to put our faith and trust in him. And thank you for, for pulling that scripture in and reminded us. Did a great job. Thank you. What was that Deuteronomy scripture? Um, Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous for the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you. Anybody else? See, everybody else is just as nervous as you. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> All of you being quiet, just wait. <laughs> Y'all's day's coming. <laughs> I do love you and I thank you for, for doing this tonight and thank you on here. Um, don't just listen to what she said, take it and apply it. Get that, have that courage to step out of your comfort zone. Like she did tonight when you see something. And I'm going to tell you, if you pray for the Lord to send you people, he will send you people everywhere you go. And you've just got to, when you feel that stirring, then that means that the person that's right there that you're you feel like you should talk to talk to them they're there for a reason so i love you guys so much and i think that these last um these this last eight days of this month <coughs> going to be phenomenal we've got our our zoom our old school transformation zoom is in 40 minutes and we are going to see how this goes. We are going back to the old ways. We're going to do a full on transformation party talking about the products like we did in the beginning that, that a lot of you that are, have been here for 
uh, a lot more than five years actually listened to when y'all signed up and you're still here. So we're going to go old school and see what happens. And if it works, all of you that are not on our team directly, we're going to be opening this up next week. So we're going to test it out to see how we can do with the prospects and make sure they go back to the right person because we've got three teams tonight. So we're going to see how all that works. Um, and then we're going to, if it works and everything's flawless, we're going to open it up next week and do it a full on like thousand person Zoom um, or Facebook live event. So just get ready and we'll let you know how it goes. But um, other than that, has anybody got anything at all they need to address? Did I forget anything? Uh, make sure you've signed up for the regional. Whatever regional is closest to you, make sure you have registered for it because y'all, we have been doing Zooms for the speakers and it is going to be phenomenal. So make sure you have registered um, and anybody that you can bring with you, if, if you're coming, if you're driving to Knoxville, pack your car full of people. I'm going to. I'm going to have more than just me go. Find somebody to bring with you. P pile people in your car and, and let's go because it's going to be really good. So anything that I forget? Anybody? Um, Melissa, I just wanted to say, Bambi, you did a great job. Sorry, I was driving, so I couldn't unmute myself at the time. But I wanted to let you know that you did a wonderful job. And I'm going to ask for prayer. I have got a, um interview tomorrow for a remote position so that I can be at home with Gary. So I'd appreciate all your prayers for tomorrow. Yeah, girl, you got them. Thank you. I know God is going to honor that request. Just believe it. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and declare Ephesians 3.20 over this team. And Lord, just have your will in Teresa's life. And if this is what she's supposed to do, open that door. If it's not shut, it's so closed that she knows that it's you. So I'm going to declare Ephesians 3.20 over this team. God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can think or ask. Because we honor him, his blessings are going to chase us down and overtake us. You are in the right place at the right time. And I declare courage and boldness right now. God is going to open supernatural doors. People are going to seek us out. And we are going to rise in the ranks because we give him the honor and glory. Love you guys.